All right, let's get started. I removed all the Unity software from my computer just so I could start uh, from scratch again. And I'm just outlining here what we need to do. So the first thing we need to do is actually create a free ArcGIS developers account. Now this is gonna give us two things. Um, first is access to an API token. And we need this um, in order to use base maps and elevation services inside Unity. And it, it's also gonna actually give us access to the, the SDK, the ArcGIS Unity plugin. So we need to do that first. Then we actually need to install Unity Hub and Unity. So Unity Hub is kind of the software launcher or manager for Unity. So you install Unity Hub and it's kind of like, um, like video games have like Epic Game Launcher, like Epic's Game Launcher and EA might have one and Steam. Uh, Unity kind of, the, the hub just manages um, different versions of Unity because there are several different, you can have different versions of Unity installed at the same time. So the Unity Hub just manages all that and manages like your projects. So we'll do that and then we will actually download the plugin and then we'll download the samples that Ezri gives us and we'll make sure we can get that working. That's step one. And then we'll go and bring in our own um, 3D model. So let's go to the browser and let's go search for the ArcGIS, ArcGIS Unity SDK. And we'll go to this page here and let's get started. So this is kind of outlining what I just said. Um, so let's go first get a free developer account. Now I created one earlier today, so I'm not gonna go through this process. So I'm just gonna sign in. You can use, you can link it to a GitHub or Google. I actually just made a new Gmail account for this. So I'm gonna sign in with my Google account. Um, so we'll just sign in here. And since I created this earlier, I already have an API key, but you're probably gonna have to uh, just create an API key. It, it should be in the same spot. It, it'll probably say make a new key or something. Um, so we have the key now, and we also need to um, download the Unity SDK. So now we can go back here and click the download the plugin. Make sure you're signed in with your account. And this is what we want, this ArcGIS Maps SDK Unity uh, 1.2.0 TGZ. So that's a tarball. It's an, uh, a compressed file, like a zip file kind of. So let's just download that. And it starts downloading. It's 550-ish um, megabytes. Uh, so yeah, it's not tiny, but it's not that big either. So just let that download and make sure you copy this key or just write it down or just keep it open in a tab for now. So now we've downloaded that. <clears throat> Next thing we will do is set up a Unity project. So to do this, we need to install Unity. So let's just click on this button. So it says the plugin supports Unity 2021.3.x. If you do not have it installed, install Unity. So I'm gonna click that. And it's just taking us to their, their main download page. And let's just click download for Windows. And you can see the hub starts downloading. And it's not that big of a program because this isn't actually Unity. This is just the Unity hub. So let's click this and get this installed. All right, so let's run this. All right, so this is, is Unity Hub, um, and it's uh, basically saying like this is the, the most recent Unity editor that's available, the 2022.3.5 F1 LTS. So it's saying, do you want to install this? Now, I, I know for a fact because I uh, just went through this process, this version isn't supported by the plugin. And the samples, if you try to open the samples with this, it's going to yell at us and say, you need to change and use a different version. So I'm gonna skip that for now, and I'm gonna to try to find the version that we need to use. I, I wrote it down, so let me go to install editor. And it's actually none of these. We're looking for 2021.3.2F1, which I don't see here. Um, and I don't see it here. 
so we can download the archive for access to long-term support. Let me just see if I happen to see it here. So 2021.3.2F1, that's what we want. It's 2020, or not, that's 2022. Where's 2021? Can I search? Ah, here we go, 2021.3. We're looking for 2F1. So you could just install the latest and then it'll complain and then it'll automatically get, get you the right version. Or we can just do it right now. Uh, it saves some time because this takes a couple minutes to install. So, uh, and for all I know, it might actually work with the, the latest version, but it, it complains and says that, um, you know, it's risky to use that version. But yeah, so this is what we want, 2021.3.2F1. Let's uh, download this. So yeah, like I was saying, I, when I did this earlier, I just, I installed what Unity suggested I install, which was the latest. And then when I went to look at the Esri samples, as soon as I opened it, it said, hey, this is the wrong version. You need to install this version. And I just clicked, okay, install this version. And it installed it for, for me. Uh, I didn't have to go out and install, uh, find it like this and run this installer. It all, t it was all taken care of in Unity Hub. Um, so just different ways of doing it, I guess. So I'm just letting this uh, this finish, and we'll run this, and then we should see that install version show up here in a second. Okay, so let's click this. Okay, so it just finished. It took, I would say, maybe five to 10 minutes to complete that. So let's click finish. And we should be able to go now into, might have to open Unity Hub up again, but we should be able to see that install. All right, so I still don't see it here. So I think we need to actually locate it. Um, since we did it manually, it doesn't know where it put it. Uh, and I'm just browsing around and I see it was put here. So there's this Unity and then the Unity version we just downloaded. And we actually need to give it the application Unity. So just select that editor and there we go. So now it shows up um, as a release. So this is a version of Unity we can use. So the next thing we need to do is actually download the project um, from GitHub, the ArcGIS samples. So. If we go back to this main page, we can explore the samples and I'm going to click on additional samples are available on GitHub. And this is the project that we're going to work with. Um, so on this readme page, they list a bunch of samples, but for some reason I don't see the third person sample here. Um, but it actually is here. If you go into sample projects, assets, and then samples, no, sample viewer, I think. Sample viewer, samples, third person. So this is what we actually wanna work with. So let's go back to the root of the project and we're gonna to have to clone this project with Git. Um, if you don't know what Git is, it's a um, source control software. So it's used to basically modify and save code um, and if you don't have Git installed on Windows, if you just Google Git Bash, 
and go here. Um, this is what I would recommend downloading. Just download Git, download for Windows, and just run probably the 64-bit Git. And once you have that, you should be able to just type Git in your command prompt. Um, yeah, for some reason, I, I did initially try just downloading a zip file of it and opening that project in Unity, but I was getting weird errors, and those errors went away when I downloaded it with, uh, when I cloned it with Git. So not sure if those two issues were related, but just to uh, you know, follow their directions to the T, uh, we're just going to clone the, the repository. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to open a command prompt, and I'm going to just go to my documents folder and make a new directory called unity um, demo and cd or change directory into the unity demo and now I'm just going to type git clone and paste that URL so now it's going out and downloading that project and if we we can just browse to it in Windows Explorer so I made that unity demo folder so here's that what it downloaded and it's still still downloading um, so we'll let that finish but in the meantime let's look at their instructions here so clone the repo that's what we're doing now um, now it's just saying uh, download the unity SDK so that's what we did earlier so we already have that next is open the project in unity ignoring the errors when prompted to enter safe mode so that sounds a little scary but what they want us to do is open the project in unity so okay so that's that's finished now let's just take a look at this uh, repository or code um, the particular folder we need to open in unity hub is this samples project folder so like if you try to open this in unity it's it's not a valid project this is not a valid project this is a valid project so it's looking for this type of folder structure so so we're going to do that we're just going to open this in unity so if we go back here and go to projects, we're going to open and then click the little arrow and add project from disk. And now we're just going to browse to um, the Unity uh, folder that we just downloaded. So sample projects and add that project. And if you um, didn't install this version, this editor version, you would see this would there would be an exclamation point here. Like if you just installed Unity and installed the default one that they suggested, you would have an exclamation point here, and it would just it would tell you this is uh, this was intended to be like um, ran on a different version. Um, it, things may not work correctly. If you want, you can download the right version, and it, it'll actually give you a link to the right version. But we we already took care of that, so uh, let's go ahead and, and attempt to open this. And the instructions said we're going to uh, ignore errors related to safe mode. And um, I'll explain what's going on once all that opens up. Um, since this is the first time opening, it might take uh, a couple minutes to open up. All right, so that finished, and here we go. We see the, the errors that um, they were mentioning, so they told us to ignore them, so we're going to ignore the errors. And the errors are basically related to the fact that we don't have the um, Unity SDK plugin from ArcGIS installed yet, and that's all, that's all it's complaining about. Okay, so let me maximize this and let's look at the console here and you can see these are the errors that we're getting and it, they're all related to the type or namespace ArcGIS could not be found and it's just because we don't have the plugin installed yet. So to install the plugin we just need to click on window package manager and click the plus button then add package from tarball and we need to um, provided the tarball that we downloaded earlier. So that's currently adding and when this adds we should see these errors go away.
Okay, so it looks like most of the errors went away, but we still see one error here. And that's because we, in addition, we need to install these samples from the Unity SDK. So these samples are not the same samples that we downloaded from GitHub. These are samples that come with the Unity SDK. And my guess is the samples we downloaded from GitHub probably uh, take advantage of some assets or something, some code in, in the, these samples. So we just need to import those. Okay, so that, oh, it's still working. Okay, so we need to restart the editor. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna close this out and just open it up again. Okay, there we go. Now all the errors are gone. And you'll also see we have a new button up here, this ArcGIS Maps SDK. So that'll come in handy a little bit later. Um, but let's go ahead and open the project tab up over here. And we need to browse to the sample viewer. Um, so let's look at those directions again. They want us to launch the sample viewer level. It should open by default. For me, it doesn't seem like it opens by default. I have to browse to it. Um, so let's open up sample viewer and I'm going to double click. So this is a level icon. So we need to open up this level and here's where we're going to need to add our token. Um, so again, like the, uh, instructions here say to click on sample switcher and that's where you set your API key. But when I click on sample switcher, I don't see where to put the API key in. Um, but if I just go to the game, uh, this is the preview of what the game looks like. I'm just going to run the game and we're going to put, uh, um, it's going to give us the opportunity to put our token in. So you can see here, so I need to grab my token from uh, right here. So just copy that value and paste it in here and show samples. So these are all the samples we have and these correlate to the samples that are in here. So let's just open up the third person controller, make sure it works, make sure the API works. So if your token wasn't valid, this wouldn't work. You wouldn't see these um, assets here. So what we're seeing here is a layer that ArcGIS is providing by default. So if we, let me close out of this. Um, so I'm going to, I'm going to get, a, I'm going to move away from using the sample viewer because this is kind of just like a container for all the other levels. I want to go specifically into the third person. So I'm going to open up third person and double click that level. And I'm going to open up ArcGIS map and here's where you can add the API key. So I'm going to add that and you see that adds the um, base map. And let's just kind of take a look at what we see here. So we see a base map and it's pointing to an ArcGIS service. So this is just, you know, a normal base map that you could open up in ArcGIS Pro, for example. Um, so just a world imagery base map. And then we have an elevation source. It doesn't actually show me what that is. Oh, there it is. So yep, there's an elevation source that we're using. So this is why you need the token, otherwise you don't have access to these. Uh, and then by default, there's already two layers, the San Francisco buildings, 3D buildings, and then the population. Um, so let's take a look at that. So these are the 3D buildings. So for example, if I were to turn off this layer, you wouldn't see that. And then anything else that you see is, is the base map. So let me turn that up back on. Um, okay, cool. So yeah, that's where I wanted to leave off in this video. So we've uh, installed Unity, we've installed the plugin, we've validated that we can run the sample uh, data that they give us. And now in the next video, we're going to take it a step further and add a custom model um, that we can use.